five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. From the most infected city in America, it's Alex Bennett and the Ramble from now until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Mm-hmm. Okay, coronavirus or no coronavirus, uh, we have a tradition we do here. Uh, we call this person because he always answers in a funny way, okay? So let's see if it rings. Get it ringing here. There we go. And let's see who's there. I told you to never call me when I watch The Accidental Family. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. How, how are you? Accidental Family. <laughs> it, it's Stephen Pearl. It's Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. The world is ending. Let's uh, do one of our last shows here before we all die. Yeah, well, we only do 15 minutes now uh, because... Oh, I'm, okay, yeah. You don't I, know how much time is left, so... I'm running a show. Before we get the whooping call. <laughs> right, right. How you doing? Everybody got the whooping call. Stephen Pearl, and he's out there in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, Las Vegas. <laughs> that one always displays me. How's the, uh, how's the corona doing out there? Uh, well, I'm still alive, and uh, so far as I know, none of my friends have it, and I'm still uh, interacting with people at least once a week. I go out to see friends, but uh, other than that, everyone's staying in. It sucks. Everyone's going nuts. Yeah. Especially comics who like to get out there. And, you know, we like to be in front of people, but now there are no people to be in front of. Uh, none of the none of the uh, casinos or showrooms are open, right? Nothing. Zero. Lights out, baby. It's stripper park. Just little the names on the hotels you can see, and all the windows are dark. It's insane. Well, gee, maybe you'll get that uh, twelve hundred dollar check from the president. Hey, if he if, if something dumpy sends me that money, I will drive him around for three months. <laughs> he can stay here when he's in Nevada. I'll let him stay. Come on, I'll make a sandwich. I'll cut the crust off. Don't worry. Yeah. You know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he, whatever he does, you know, just uh, you know, go out here. Got some moccasins for you to wear. You'll be comfortable. Yeah, I so, mean, uh, I lend them. I lend them all seventeen of my blow dryers and whatever he needs. Yeah. No, I was talking to uh, I was talking to uh, Bubbles yesterday, and you know, Bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles is, uh, <clears throat> let's just say, uh, a recluse of sorts. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> this make a difference to him. So. Well, no, it, the thing is, he lives in a studio apartment. Yeah. Uh, and he said it is now a cell. <laughs> it is what it's yeah. become. I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm sure. Know. Yeah. It's insane. So, as you know, with all the dispensaries are just doing deliveries now. So I got to, I got to see who wants to come over. <laughs> yeah. So he, you know, and he doesn't have, he does, he doesn't have like Netflix or any kind of internet connection or anything oh, like that. I know. That. It's, oh, it's horrible. He has, yeah, we, yeah. He so, has nothing. So, so it is a so. so. But he does go running three times a week. So he does. Okay, so that's good. He does do that. He does get out of the house. That's good. But I mean, jeez. Yeah, I mean, now in your situation, what kind of a place do you have? I have a one bedroom, and uh, it's not a cell. I got the Catch to Keep Me Company there. They're like little circus performers. They're fun. Yeah. And uh, it's just me and the babies. And uh, if I have to go out, I go out. You know, if I want to get a meal or go to the store, so I'm going out. You know, fuck it. So yeah. I'm 64. If it strikes me down, I, I've lived long enough, man. Well, I've seen enough. I, may, I saw Jimi Hendrix. He can I, kill me now. I'm 80, and there's a gun to my head. You know. <laughs> Look out! And yeah, I have, I, just, I have. I just, yeah, once it, once it starts hurting, you know. Here, here, here here's <laughs> the here's the worst part about it. I just found out today. I have to go to the hospital uh, next uh, Friday for a CT oh, scan. Right. Well, I had those seeds implanted, right? You know the process. Oh yeah, seeds. yeah, the seeds. And uh, I have to go have a CT scan so the doctor can see that they're just working just like he expected they would work. It's just purely. It's not even diagnostic. It's just. Yeah. For his edification to make sure that everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing, uh-huh. uh, and you have to do that a month after you have the procedure. 
So I have to yeah. go over to Mount Sinai Hospital, which if you want to talk about New York being ground zero, the epicenter has got to be, yep. you know. Oh, yeah, man. Hospitals are greeting grounds, breeding grounds, especially in New York, where it's really horrible. Well, I asked, no, I asked the nurse today who called me about about it. I said, I, you know, I'd prefer to put it off because, you know, of what's going on. And she said, well, you're pretty safe. She said, we're, we're in a uh, different area of the hospital. You know, we're our own little unit that does, uh, does radiation. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't worry about, you know, being compromised. So Don't worry, Mr. Warhol. It's only minor surgery. He, it, exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't worry, Mr. Henson. You're just going to the hospital for a day or two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll, be out, you'll be out the right way. Yeah. In a bag. Yeah. Well, I would see, I had two, I had two uh, routine doctor's appointments this week, and I canceled them. I just look, and they, they were very cool. They, they understood. So I said, look, cause yeah. I don't want to be in a room full of sick people if I'm not really sick myself. So right. I just, I'll, when this is over, I'll come, I'll come back. But yeah. or if I, you know, kill over, bring me there. But uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm staying inside a lot, but not most, not all the time. Yeah. I still got to go out. I got to get some fresh air. I got to shop. I got to do this and that. So you know, but it, 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 just gigs are canceled, and there's no nightlife, and there's nothing to do. So you know. Yeah. So. so, yeah, so it, it it it's got to be it's got to be daunting for you, you know. But yeah, people are slowly going mad. Yeah. <laughs> you're not you're not getting any work, so it's like being back in the Bay Area again. Uh, so. Yeah, it is like being in San Francisco all over again. Yeah, and uh, this time around, so uh, nothing going on, so zero. And your lady no, is where? No she, where where is your lady right now? She's in California. She's uh, renting a room in California because the air here kills her. Yeah. So it's, ain't that a weird situation? Ain't that crazy? I thought desert air was good air. You know? I don't know. It's a lot to her lungs. You know, every time she came here, she ended up in the emergency ward because she couldn't breathe. And, uh, you know, me, I'm, I'm, I'm strong like bull. I get, along, I get along anywhere. Yeah. You put me in Romania, I would thrive. But, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm staying here. So, you know, I love it here. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, where the action is, so uh, you know it's what it is right now. now so do, you, do you talk to any other people about this uh, that you know? I mean, I guess you're on the on side. the internet, yeah, on Facebook. Everybody's going through it, so you know, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's what it is. You know, you just gotta follow the rules at least to an extent. So you yeah. know, I'm not tongue kissing strangers on the street or licking doorknobs anymore. So, yeah, you know, that's out for I now. have not left. And, uh, I have not left the house in. Uh, but, 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 well, I went out for a few moments twice over the last oh three two and a half weeks. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. But I, but I have this huge apartment. I have twenty five hundred square feet, so I don't. Oh, yeah. And even I'm getting cabin fever. I mean, I know that sounds strange. I have high ceilings and everything. You know, I. I oh no! I, yeah, everyone's getting it. I was getting it too. So you know. Yeah. Oof. You know, I had a I mean, friend whose car broke down yesterday, and I, I went out and gave her a lift and took her and helped her take get her car towed and everything, and that felt great just to get out. You know, and it was that was a, that was a yeah, under that great circumstance. Well, of course, well, at least I get to go outside. So yeah, Las Vegas hasn't been hit hard by this, have they? Not well, not yet, except business wise. You know, I mean, there there have been some deaths and have been. How much so and so? You know how many people? Uh, X amount of people have it, but I don't want to remember the number. But uh, most of them don't, and uh, but nobody's nobody's doing anything. You know, well, we've had over a thousand people we've, who saved all year to come out here at this time of year, and they can't come out. But. We've had over a thousand this year in New York alone. This is this oh, yeah. week, excuse Same me, it, not this year, forward, but right now. Uh, you know, so I mean, it's uh, it's it's getting there. You know, and and yep. Yeah, it'll probably get worse before it gets better, so get ready. Well, I mean, if, if everybody in the country were to hunker down, this thing would, mm -hmm. you know, this thing would, would be a problem, but it would, it would, it would be, it'd be mitigated. But the fact is, there are certain states that aren't even, even uh, you know, doing anything about it. Uh, fl yeah. Florida is, uh, is insane, you know. And um, yeah. um, uh, Wisconsin is going to hold their primaries. You know. Oh, it, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's a matter that if, if everybody, that. if every state in the country oh, were God. to lock down, okay, yep. we could probably kill this thing pretty fast. 
but that's not going to happen. Nice. And so, therefore, you know, I mean, yeah, what's happening in New York is terrible, but it's going to be uh, um, uh, uh, getting worse, you know. So, yeah. uh, what have you, you know. Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm upset by it, you know, and I'm worried by it because I'm, I'm 80 years old, right? Yeah, and, and, yeah. And I just was operated on. I don't know if that compromises me particularly. Who knows? The radiation may kill it. I, you know, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but still, I, they, well, we just got to deal with it, and hopefully, it'll pass. You know, before the before the summer, anyway. But who the who the fuck knows? Well, I'm not usually. It could be the end of days. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not usually fearful about stuff like this. I mean, my attitude during flu season is, well, I take the flu shot, but if I get the flu, I get the flu, right? You know. Yeah. Um, but that's not the case. You know, that's not the case at all here. Yeah. It's, it's pretty. Some fucking Christmas. Some fucking asshole eats a bat. We're all paying for it. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Bobby Slayton said. You know, Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off a bat years ago, and everybody made fun of him. <laughs> and now somebody in China decides to have bat soup, and we're, we're all dying like flies. Amazing. You know. Uh, well, that's Ozzy Osbourne is not immune to this thing, so he yeah, doesn't have to worry. I imagine. You know, he'll be the last man on earth. <laughs> well, that would be great. Oh, wouldn't that? That would be just the last man on earth is Ozzy Osbourne. That'd be an interesting science fiction movie. Ozzy Osbourne, the last <laughs> man on earth. Oh my God! Well, everybody, yeah, I don't see anybody. Yeah. Uh, so far, none of your rock idols are dying of this, so that's good. Um, yeah, I oh, listen. They said John Pine has it, and uh, who was some other some other singer? I forget who. It's that uh, just how we, we lost. We lost some country singer who I never heard of. You know, uh, Porter Haggard, or was it Dottie Tammy? I don't yeah, know. I, Dottie I don't Tammy. Know any of them. Dottie Tammy, I think it was. Uh, you yeah. Know, uh, but uh, we lost. Uh, we lost that. Uh, but but you see, all these people. Here's the thing: you look at the people who who, who are dying of it. They're all obese or have diabetes. They mm -hmm. say diabetes. If you have diabetes, oh yeah, you have the worst conditions. Chance. Quite don't help. So yeah, I mean, all I have is a little pro touch of the prostate cancer. You know. Yeah, all I got is pink eye. So yeah. It, all you got is pink eye, right? So. <laughs> well, if I'll you have pink, pink eye, eye, that may be a sign that you have the coronavirus. Believe it or not. There you go. Yeah, they say that. I don't know. You hear so much I don't, stuff. I don't, I, don't. I don't believe anything I hear. You know? So. Nope. Fake news. Everything is fake news. It's all bullshit. Every, everything is fake news. And how do you think everything our, how do you think news, our right? president's handling it? Well, you know, first I thought it was a hoax from the Democrats. Then I thought, you know, a Band-Aid could cure it. And I invested in the cure ad company. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just I'll give it to the, I'll give it to the, the eggheads. Yeah. I don't know. He's. Uh, what can he do about it? What can anybody do about it? Whoever, whoever president, the president was. Well, the, what you the president? You just, yeah, get, get the top scientists and doctors on it and let them cure it. You can make people feel a little better, you know. You can make them feel better. Yeah, if you have like a, a Roosevelt who could, an FDR who could comfort people, yeah. but this guy is uh, not FDR. So. Right, right. So... You know, yesterday, December 7th, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it must be okay. So um, so otherwise, you're feeling okay. You're not, you know. Yeah. So far, yeah. So far, I'm okay. Yeah. So knock on, knock on wood and knock on Formica. So, uh, you, you know something, well, though? You, 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 you would love New York right now. Remember how it used to be the city that never sleeps? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's snoring. That was it. It's snoring. In a coma right now. Yeah. It reminds me, uh, there was a movie in the 50s called The World, the Flesh, and the Devil. Yes. With Harry Belafonte, where the whole world ends, and him and uh, I've got two other people, the only ones left on Earth. Yeah. And all these scenes in New York with nothing in it, nobody. <laughs> like, and the only way they could yeah. shoot it to make it look like there was nobody in New York was from the ground up. They couldn't show the Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't show the ground or film it at like four in the morning or something. <laughs> well, that's what they would do when they would want to do these apocalyptic films about New York, and they would want to have mm -hmm. like Times Square empty. 
they would do it on uh-huh. like Sunday morning at five o'clock in the yeah. morning when the sun had just come up, uh, and they That's could right, yeah. they could kind of block it all off, and nobody would be bothered by it anymore. Yeah, you know exactly. Just as soon as the sun comes up, start filming. Come on. Little, we're, keep going. we're gaining daylight. Little did I know they would eventually block it off anyway, okay? Because mm-hmm. it, it, now it's just nothing but people sitting at tables having their lattes, you know? Yeah. Times yeah. Square is not the Times <laughs> Square you once knew. Hey, we've run out of time. Those 15 minutes goes quick, I tell you. 15 minutes goes by like... Like that. Two, two, like seven and a half twice. It's amazing. Hey, listen, stay safe. We'll talk to you in a couple of weeks, okay? You too, you too my friends. See you in a couple of weeks. Stay good and, and stay away from those germs. La- it. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Stephen Perk. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And here I am, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I would wear this hat. I think, who sent this to me? I think this was sent to me by uh, Tony, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I remember I bought this. I bought this with um, uh, the guy who owned the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, uh, Dennis Hoff. He took me down to a hat store, and I bought a whole bunch of hats, and this was one of the hats that I bought. It's not a bad lid. Girlfriend said it makes me look like an old man in Miami. And I said, well, I'm an old man. The only difference is I'm not in Miami. Okay, so uh, so um, let's see here. Uh, what do we got? Let me, let me see here. Let me do, do this, okay? <laughs> the coronavirus update. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, all righty, and uh, let me see here. Let me uh, do this, and there's the coronavirus. Oh, look, 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 look at what we've got here, folks. Yes, yes, we've hit over a million on the face of the earth who have had the coronavirus, of which 53,030 are not here any longer. That's pretty amazing. That's a pretty amazing toll. And what's it in the United States? 245,000 people. That's almost a quarter of the earth, of the rest of the earth. We've got uh, 245,000. The earth has about a a million. Uh, That would be uh, one quarter, of uh, one out of every four uh, people in the world who has the coronavirus Live here in the United States. Don't tell us we aren't the best place on earth, right? Boy, it's amazing. Uh, U.S., uh, 5,949 deaths out of uh, 245,000 confirmed. That's actually a pretty good percentage, to tell you the damn truth, compared to a lot of other countries. Because if you go over to Italy, you got 115,000 people who have the uh, virus but you had 13,000 deaths. So, you know, that beats out the U.S., which has 5,000. They've got like almost two and a half times with uh, a great deal less. So we're, uh, but it, we haven't seen our death toll mount all the way. So that's the way it is. But I just want you to look at the map. There we go. It's, it's just, it, and it doesn't get any better, folks. The news doesn't get any better. And uh, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. You know, I'm, I'm in that, uh, that uh, what do we call it? The, uh, uh, let me fix a few things here. Uh, I'm in that, uh, that group that can really be in trouble. So anyway, that's, that's what, uh, what goes. Let me see here. Let me get the, let me get the uh, thing going here, the, the thing. I'm starting to sound like uh, Trump. Uh, let's get the program going here, and let me turn on the Skype thing that we've got. That's a Skype thing that we've got, and uh, watch. Everybody will start gangbanging me again tonight, and then I'll spend the first 15 minutes of the program just trying to get people on. Anyway, uh, I will now turn on the turn on the green light. There we go. We're active now. Now you see we're active. And um, uh, let's now wait and see if uh, anybody calls me. Um, 
Because I have some things to talk about, but I, I, I'm waiting till I have some people here to talk about them with me. Uh, and uh, did I go on earlier than I usually do? No, no. I'm, I'm getting, maybe it's the hat. Maybe that's why they're not calling tonight. Um, let me see. I'm on. Yeah, it's working. And uh, we're, uh, we're going out. And everything, oh, here we go. Here comes Rob Alfano. I can always trust Rob to call us. Uh, and he uh, was he was in the number one position last night, and guess what? He's in the number one position again tonight. I and am we, honored. And then we go here to uh, uh, Jeff, uh, and uh, Jeff, uh, let me see if he pops up. Yeah, there he is. And was he anywhere on the first page last night? No. Charlene Martinez is calling. Oh, i got to do all of these now. Everybody's calling me very quickly. Uh, let me see here. Uh, there, here comes Charlie Wallace, uh, and uh, Phil Meyer is calling, but I can't see. I some can't see. Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, but some somebody's got their phone on. They got their audio on. Okay, let me let me just start getting some people in here. Well, we have Charlie there, so we don't need to worry about Charlie now. Uh, we'll get. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, this is, I believe, this is, um, um, what's his, uh, let me see here. Yeah, yep, yep, that's Jeff. Okay. And then we go here, and we go to the fourth spot, and we will get, um, let me see here. Um, in the fourth spot, we'll get, um, let me see here. This I got to look here. You, uh, oh, yeah, here's Charlene. Okay, is that it? Okay, and five and six. Wait a minute, five and six. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, now I can go. There we go. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? How are you? How y'all doing? Are you coronavirus sitting? free? The coronavirus free. I uh, I'm coronavirus free. What happened, however, is that I. Uh, um, I, I, you know, I, 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 told, I, well, I told them at Mount Sinai, they yeah. said, well, if you don't feel comfortable about coming here, then uh, just get the blood test, go to your local lab and get the blood test. Uh, and I figured of the two choices, one was getting in a, in a lift car, which could be full of germs. Okay. And then going to Mount Sinai, which we know is a Petri dish. Okay. And then getting it all done there, the CT scan and whatever. And I said, she said, we can wait on the CT scan for three months. Just go to your local lab and get the blood test. And I said, well, send me a script and I'll, I'll go get the blood test. And the, the quest is like down 125th. It's like eight blocks away. And if I walk, I'm not going to, I can avoid people, you know. And then when I get, get there, I know the place and I can actually probably walk up to the second floor. And if I do it at like... Before 9.30 in the morning, make an appointment before 9.30 in the morning. If you're 60 and over, because you're considered a great, greater risk, uh, they will have special precautions for you when mm -hmm. you get there. So I figure it's safe to go, wouldn't you say? You know. Uh, but now here's the thing, okay? And I don't know if they're still there. But there are two cops on my floor. One is sitting on the stairwell and the other one is standing there. And the cops and the firemen have been here all day long, on and off. And uh, finally, what we got was happening is our next door neighbor, they were waiting on an ambulance for our next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I think it was she, because they were talking about arthritis and things like this, which were the things that she had going for her that we know because we talk with her all the time. And I just, they, they were here this morning. When I woke up at 10 this morning, they were there, and then they left, and then they came back, and then they left, and came back. And I go out there tonight at about uh, 9 o'clock to take the garbage out, and they're still there. And I said, you're still here? And they said, yeah. I said, are you still waiting for an ambulance? And they went, yep. <laughs> Uh, but that seems to tell me that if you want an... Uh, yes, Charlie. 
Oh, no, I was just... I was, what? I, I just... I know somebody personally who died from it. Really? Yes. My sister's best friend, we've known for 50 years, has passed away in Chicago. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. In Chicago? Yeah. Oh, my boy. sister lived in Chicago. <clears throat> wow, that's not good. Boy, is that no. a problem. Yeah, let Sorry. me see here. Bree. Oh, here comes Tony Magno, too. We got Bree. I got a, a Bree Free would be his thing. If I can find him, I can't find him. Oh, well. I'm going to cancel and then go back By in. By the time this is over, we're all going to know somebody personally that died. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, 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 worry, I, I, I worry most about myself and Marjorie. Um, you know, and it may be. What? what oh, here, there problem okay and then i who else oh tony okay wait a minute hold on what is that rumbling that we're getting sounds like outdoor air yeah Wind. webhead okay there or we fan. Go. There we oh, go. fan yeah uh, yeah that's what it is okay and uh okay now we have all those people and we still we don't have phil yet he tried to call and then something happened i don't know but anyway, if I, uh, by the way, I'm having some problems today. So if I have to run off to the bathroom, uh, Rob, you're in charge. Okay. We'll talk. Huh? We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. If we had Zoom, he could be in charge. Let me see here. Uh, bu 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 oh, I just want to make sure that everybody, no. Uh, My company oh, I, just gave us Zoom accounts. Yeah. Yeah. We, I, uh, I, 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 number one, I can't use Zoom on this program. Uh, because it won't work with the switcher that I have. Uh, yeah. And uh, 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 the switcher I have, I mean, it looks great. And it works fine. And I don't think there's been any problem really with Skype. Um, and I know people are using Zoom, but they're, they're, they're not using it like I have to use it. And uh, that would be impossible. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, and, um, I tried zoom today and I tried to figure out how to use it and I couldn't figure it out. I know I, you, you just gave me a look, the switcher and everything. I, I downloaded that O F O B F whatever. OBS. That is. OBS. Yeah. And I looked at that and I went, yeah, right. I might be able to figure that out. And you can't figure, zoom is easy. It's well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. OBS. It, we're talking about two different things here though. No, I'm just saying. You said you couldn't figure out Zoom, but you could figure out OBS. No, I said uh, no. I said much more difficult. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, no, what I was talking about. Oh, it's, oh, wait a minute. I've got. I see. Hold on a second. I got to change something here. Uh, this is just. Uh, OBS came up in one of our meetings yesterday, and and because Alex uses it, I was able to respond that I was aware of the software and, and what it could do, although I can't operate it, but I, yeah, it's, I know what it it's does. They want to use it. They're mm -hmm. going to start using it for some webinars here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure it's good for that kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah. and, and that's fine, but uh, I don't need it. All right? So let me, I'm having to fix something. No, I mean, they're going to use OBS. Huh? Together with Zoom mm -hmm. to to do webinars. Yeah, well, you can't you can't you you can't use it with OBS. There's no way to there's no dongle or whatever to do it. Um, OBS is a it's a, in case people wonder what we're talking about. OBS is a switcher. It's a thing that allows me to do uh, 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 things like uh, this. Okay, See, I just change. It, it's a switcher more than it is anything else, all right? Um, so um, uh, that's, that's what it does. Then there is Skype, which is the way we communicate with each other. Now, there is some way I have to get these pictures into OBS, and there's a program made by New Tech, a company I used to work for, uh, called uh, NDI. And the, each of these different pictures you see is a different NDI picture. Uh, and I simply, when I'm, when you hear me going, uh, now which one is so and so, and I'll put him in the first spot. It's that I have each of these spots available, and then I go in and I look for the caller, and I make him in that, put him in that slot, and his picture comes up. 
But the, it's two entirely different things. Uh, one did, is, you, yeah. did you just figure all that out on your own, or did you have like a tutorial that you – how did you learn all that? Well, I learned it by a couple of ways. Number one, hit and miss. You know, um, uh, since I've been into video for years, I understand how a switcher basically works, okay? But then when it came to all that NDI stuff and everything, I went online – and I uh, got um, um, uh, went and watched some YouTube videos, and I found YouTube was the best place to find out how to do this stuff. Hmm. You know, um, uh, so it it was uh, you know very simple for me to suddenly uh, decide, okay, um, I'll um, I'll um, go on there and see if I can find it. And then there I saw a tutorial that somebody did or a video tutorial where they, you know, they show it to you and how it works and so on. And then I, I it took me a while to get with the concept of how exactly it works. But eventually I learned that it was just every single person that calls becomes one of these different little windows that I have up here, you know. And then you just arrange them in, on a background. Well, like I did a template. Okay, mm -hmm. and I did a template that has three, a template that has six, a template that has eight, and a template that has 12. Okay, and then um, uh, I just simply, when I go to the next template, all the people I put in the template for six suddenly fold into the template for eight, and then I can add somebody to the eight, if any of that so makes that, sense. For instance, so here, here, just, here. It's impressive. That's okay. impressive that you could do that. <laughs> Ray is, I, Ray is calling. Okay, Ray is calling. So what I do is I, um, uh, let me see here, I, in the eight, I go to the eighth spot, and then I find uh, Ray, who would be Goomba61, um, there he is, and I put him in there, and then I make it uh, so that he is, is there, and then I do the little transition, and there you see him. Okay. Voila, no, so your Skype on your screen, your each of us is our own little window with a person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. On on the, when we're when we're doing the, this you know the, uh, the the show and the OBS, I also have a regular Skype screen here, so I like see you on a regular bunch. I see you on a regular <laughs> Skype screen. Before I used to just have in the old days, all I did was take the Skype screen and put it on the air. But then um, um, Skype got pissy and changed to the new Skype, and I had to use this. I found this other program that's free, oddly enough, that will allow me to put all these things uh, in their place. So that's our uh, that's our that's the way we do it. Isn't that interesting, folks? Now you know how they kill the cow. You know so. But no, I figured that, yeah, I did figure that out on my own. I feel real good about that, you know. Um, I looked at it and went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not easy. I just, I was just for the hell of it. I wanted to see it. Well, it, it, if you it. played with it for a while, put, put your camera in there and then put in maybe <laughs> some kind of visual or whatever, you, you, you'll learn. It's very, it's really pretty simple. You, you've run TV switchers before, right? Yeah, it's basically the same. But thing. I never wired. I mean, I know how to. I used to. I I operated a switcher, but I never wired a switcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you yeah. About OBS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's once you figure it out, it's great. Yeah. You used to. I've used it. Yeah. And and yeah. the funny part about it is, it's probably the best switcher out there. And there are other switchers that'll cost you a fortune. You know. Uh, but somehow this is like one of those. You know, bunch of gearheads who get together and decide, oh, let's build a program. You know, you know my son found that's incredible. Um, my wife has to do her, she teaches exercise classes to cardiac patients. She has to do it. So we set her up a studio here and she didn't have a soundboard and the sound was getting screwed up between the music and her voice. So mm -hmm. he found an online mixer. Uh, it's a software. It's a mixer, just like a hardware one. And it works great. I mean, it's just like my... It works just like the hardware yeah. mixer. I mean, if people say, "How do I? How do I switch a program? How do I do video?" I mean, I, I, you know, I serve at the stream for YouTube through here. I am recording the show at the same time, uh, and um, 
it, it you know it it sends the encodes the show and puts it out to a uh, to a streamer uh, to to uh, you know to YouTube, uh, and it it's a great program and it's free and it keeps getting improved because all these gearheads put in when you have an open source program like this they just keep adding to it and adding to it. There's even a version of it, like I'm trying to remember the name of it, where somebody just took uh, OBS and added a whole bunch of stuff to it, and he calls it something else, but it's called OBS something, you know. And it's for for gamers, for people who want to play ga put games on on the line, which is a big business. Because I don't know, when I was playing Tomb Raider, I would go to this guy, Rad, Brad, what, Rad Brad, on YouTube, and he would show you how to get through the game. And you sit there, and you, you say, to hell with me playing the game, I'm having fun watching him play it. You know, yeah, that's that's what the Twitch. Uh, what is it? Twitch. Twitch is is the home yeah. for people who want to do that kind of stuff, or you can put and, it up on YouTube. You know. Yeah, and I think they all, almost all of them, use OBS. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, now it seems when it comes to a to a um, a group discussion thing, that uh, Zoom is incredibly popular, and mm -hmm. I think it's incredibly popular because it's. Uh, it's supposedly easy to use. I don't know. I, you know, if I had somebody I could do it with, I was almost going to get a hold of Phil and 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 test it out with him. But what you have to do is you have to invite people to your to your uh, uh, conference. And so I, in the way I do this show, you call me. You know, and when anybody calls, I it gets I it gets picked up. Uh, and I don't, you know, if, if Bree doesn't want to call tonight, I don't have to send out an invitation to all you people in order to get you to come and call the program. So it, it, Zoom doesn't work for me in this format, okay? Yes, yes, Ray. Yeah, so, yeah, for you it's not the greatest because people can't just join. But um, technically, I've been using it a lot because of this thing. I'm on this virtual play that we're rehearsing and mm -hmm. It's so much technically. It's so much better than Skype. Uh, you don't you don't get uh, this problem with people talking over each other and people canceling each other out mm -hmm. and all this. Well, I mean, I wish I could. What you're doing it's not yeah. good. it's not the best. I looked up today on uh, I typed it in oh, using OBS with Zoom, and uh, nothing came up except one guy who showed you how to do it by just somehow taking the picture off the screen and putting it on here. And that that's not exactly how I want to do it. I like the way that, I mean, you have to admit, the way I do it, it looks great. You know, yeah. it looks terrific. Um, it looks far better than any of the in, in, in incarnations of this program that we've had in the past. But Zoom, I can't do it until Zoom, until somebody comes up with a way of maybe taking each Zoom call and letting me do what I do here. By placing them where I want to. Hi, hi, Phil. Hey, how you doing? How you doing tonight? Uh, you know, I was watching Pearl tonight. He was doing another one of those Tony Bennett's hands, and uh, he does that on uh, Facebook. Something. Uh, can you feed that kind of thing into OBS and then put it onto your fifteen-minute sketch so you got actually him live? Uh, or not live, but you know. Uh, yeah, I guess I yeah, sure I could. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't use Skype, but he's got a phone with a camera in it, and it seems to seems to work. Well, and, I I'm going to see if I can maybe if you if you if he has if he has the ability to use Skype, I'm going to start uh, talking to him about you know about seeing him rather than talking to him. You know, does he have an iPhone? Yeah, he must because uh, you know I see his uh, Facebook things. He's he's got he does videos. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's doing them. Uh, yeah. No, nah, it's just him and his hand. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. If he has Facebook, if he has if he has a, an iPhone, you could FaceTime him. I don't know if it's an iPhone, but I I, I, I he's using something that has video. Uh, here, I'll well, no, I don't want to. You don't, just send me the link and I'll watch it. Uh, yeah. Um, if, anyway, I mean, it, it, you know, um, um, all of this, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm amazed that I was able to navigate this technology. But anyway, as I was saying earlier, I don't know if the two cops are still out there, but they've been waiting all day for an ambulance for this woman. Oh. 
And you know, the cops won't do uh, uh, CPR, or even the, even the EMTs won't do CPR anymore. Uh, uh, they will only transport uh, because of the virus. Yeah, you've got it all wrong. I just saw it on the news. You got it all wrong. No, it was an EMT guy. You heard uh, it all wrong. I he if if the it, person man. is still breathing, okay, has a pulse, they call the ambulance and take them to the hospital. If they're told if they don't have a pulse, don't bring them to the hospital. Oh, no, no, this had to do with CPR. This had, uh, Oh, well, CPR, they're told to use CPR or whatever they can do to revive the person. But if they don't get revived, don't bring them to the hospital. In other words, don't call an ambulance. I don't know what you do. Maybe you let the dead body just lie there, you know, at home. Uh, Is it very contagious when it's dead? Uh, I would imagine yeah, if it's contagious on a table, you know, on a tabletop or a doorknob, why would it be contagious uh, when somebody's dead? Well, I don't know. It's a good question. I, I'm not a virologist, and neither is Phil, so he doesn't know either. Uh, You'd have to touch I, him. Oh. Well, he'd have to sneeze. <laughs> Alex, it sneeze. must be. Hmm? It no. must be contagious, and I'll tell you why. My niece's uh, assistant principal passed away, 42, mm -hmm. and they can't even have a funeral. They can't even the family. They're gonna have, they gotta bury them right away. So they, I wonder if they are contagious, or I don't know, like, or they don't know enough. So that's that they, their attendees don't expose one another. Yeah, that's what happened in Georgia. People, somebody who attended the funeral that had it, who was alive and had it, and spread it to everybody at the funeral. No, oh, wow. The dead I, mean, I don't know yeah. enough about it, but the dead person is way less contagious because they're not expelling air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not breathing. They're not spitting. Yeah, there's no droplets coming out. There's nothing. Well, I mean, the good news is at least uh, that uh, here in the U.S. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, 245,000 people that have it. But we only have about 6,000 that died from it. And that's a very low percentage if you think about it. You know? Yeah. Um, uh, well, that, we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to do better. Yes. Yeah, so pick up the slack, folks. Yeah. Uh, I think in New York now, uh, the mayor has dictated that if you walk on the street, you got to have a, you got to be wearing something in front of your face. You know? Yeah, you if if you don't have a mask, that. make one, you know? Uh, but that um, uh, that that's going to be the the rule as well. I wouldn't think about going out there. Listen, today I went down because U UPS had a package and they left it at the front door, not inside the lobby, but the front door, mm -hmm. even though the door was open. Okay, and uh, so I went down and got the box, and then I put the, grabbed the box and brought it upstairs. I put gloves on before I went down. And then I brought it upstairs, and then I opened the box with the gloves, and then I took the box and I put it by the door where I could later throw it away. Uh, I took the stuff that was out of the box because I was told that whatever's in the box does not get the contagion. The outside could possibly get something. Uh, and then I, uh, I washed my hands. I washed my hands with the gloves on so I could clean the gloves. Then I took the gloves off, and then I washed my hands, you know. And then I, if I had an autoclave, I would stick my hands in the autoclave. <laughs> There's a Jerry Lewis word for you, by the way. Autoclave. Anyway. Autoclave. Yeah. Uh, but I from L.A. last night, he did such a good Jerry Lewis with the tongue. His tongue almost touched the table. It was so good. Who is this? The guy from uh, the, the editor from uh, L.A. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. That, yeah. He's the one that did that. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, that was that was the best. <laughs> you know, I know, Clave. Anyway, so um, uh, and so and that's you know that's what I did. I and I also because of what was going on next door, I wanted to make sure that I, you know, uh, uh, had the gloves on because who knows who was pushing the buttons, you know. So, I mean, I'm really close to somebody who's got it, who I'm sure that's what this is all about. I don't think it's some other medical condition, although it might be, for all we know. Maybe the people they're waiting for didn't pay their rent, and yeah. the landlord was... Oh, uh, the landlord's sitting out there right now waiting to rent the place. You know, I mean, 
Uh, but no, <laughs> it could be. Look, you know, I think about here's here's what I worry about. Okay, I worry about a lot of things, but I worry about this, and that is, um, I get sick with something. Let's say I got a hernia. Let's say it goes really bad on me. And now I need to get to a hospital. I need to get to a hospital in the middle of all of this. Do you think they're really even going to care about my goddamn hernia? You, well, know? you go to Central Park, they'll treat you. Uh, they, they've got <laughs> no, uh, the bed set up. The Central Park is the for coronavirus patients. The, I thought the, it was the other way around. The outside one, I think, the tents. Uh, the it was yeah. uh, the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Javits. Javits Center was yeah. for non uh, uh, corona. Corona, uh, corona patients. But but I heard Trump say, well, and they can go to it. We're, we're setting that up for, for corona patients. And I'm going, oh, you you moron. You know, you don't know what you're talking about because that one's not for corona patients. And then it turns out that they've decided that they're going to yeah. send some, C, you know, COVID-19 COVID patients over there as well. So... Oh. And then if you want the best hospital, the best hospital, you got to go to Trump Memorial. Trump Memorial, you'll get the service you deserve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you right. deserve. There right. you go. That's <laughs> the operative word. Right. That's the operative. It, 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 by the way, I sh you should mention that it is a subsidiary of Trump University. So that's... Uh, that's where they graduate their doctors from. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, did you hear what the caravan was coming, but they turned around and went the other way? Oh, really? Like, oh, okay. You, you know what they said? They got the plague. I'm going back home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no I mean, um, this is, uh, you know, I'll tell you the one thing. I told you how it was so dead quiet in the city. You could hear a pin drop, you know, and th this town usually is, you know, there's this constant rumble in the city that after a while you don't even hear anymore. It's kind of like background noise, you know, it's like white noise. But there isn't that out there. It is dead quiet except for one thing, a preponderance of sirens. Well, yeah. I hear fire engines by my house, Alex. Well, not fi those aren't fire engines. Those are ambulances. Ambulances. Because I hear a lot going by with my so, the Ambulances. Me, right? That's what I remember from 9-11, those days after 9-11. It was, there was silence in the city except the sirens and the black SUVs flying down the streets of the city. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't here for that. Oh no, but no, but I'll tell you, um, it it uh, they're they're and they brought a lot of ambulances into this town. They, you know, they've got just a whole court number. But look, here's this woman. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know if it's one of the conditions she's had already, or or a pre-existing condition she's had already, or whether she's got COVID. And um, but for whatever reason. They put in for an ambulance about noon today, and an ambulance isn't here yet. Or maybe it is while I'm doing the show. Neighbor but these, of yours is very ill? Yes, uh, obviously. There are two cops standing out there. They've been standing what? out there all day. I wasn't listening before. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. So, she had coffee and donuts. Yeah. So I'm, I just, you know, and he works at Sloan Kettering. Oh, he does? So it could be. Who knows? He brought it home. You know, you don't know. Uh, it's scary. It's almost like it's just I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think I mean, how can you? I mean, no, I you, you haven't like, seen anything like, like this before. If you had if you'd been here in 1917, 1918, uh, yeah. you would have seen it uh, much, much worse. But then also at a time when we didn't have antibiotics and we didn't have all the kind of medicine that we have and nobody ever heard of a respirator. You know, um, so these people just, they, they buried them in mass graves. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, yeah. uh, you know, they were dying so fast. We lost, they, they say they, the conservative estimate was 50 million people. I thought it was a quarter of the world's population. Something like that, yeah. Or, but it might have been as high as two million, 200 million. They, you know, it's hard for them to, to know for sure. But it was so bad, the war stopped for yeah. a while. While everybody got well, um, how do you start up after that? Where were we? Let's kill each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you stop for this, and now you got to start again. Where were we? Well, yeah, where were we? Um, <laughs> knife in my back. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. It's like a game, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, where do we leave off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. where do we leave off? Yeah. Crazy. I know. Can't let they me, just make up? Let me remember, you were in that people. trench, and I was in this yeah. trench. <laughs> Everybody get started. Wait. Get out of my hole. Get, <laughs> wait. Don't rush it. Wait till you hear the whistle. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what? You know what the biggest disease was to come out of that war was trench mouth, uh, which, yeah. And why do you think they call it trench mouth? Interesting. Yeah. But it's during uh, the trenches. Yeah. So you know, I mean, it, it's um, uh, and and um, we've handled this rather poorly, I think, from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, we did not get ahead of it when it first reared its ugly head, and now we're paying the price for it, and everybody's trying to play catch-up, and a lot of people are dying in the process. Uh, meanwhile, you look at, at South Korea, and the minute they saw what was happening in China, they quarantined everybody. Everybody, you know indoors. What? They don't... should have followed that mold, uh, uh, what yeah. South Korea did. Well, you know, the thing is, an American, the Americans are pretty selfish. We, I yeah. don't know if anybody would disagree with that. And they don't. Well, they want all their freedoms. They want to be able to go out and do stuff. You know, they want. They don't want to be told to stay home. Oh, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to do social distancing. What is that all about? You know. And then, of course, you got this this moron as a president who sits there and helps foster the misconceptions about it. Oh, it'll all be okay. It's just a bad cold. You know. Uh, so with all those things, we never got around to doing anything about it. Now that he's playing catch-up, he's trying to act like he's the hero of the beach. Oh, uh, I'm putting the Javits Center together, you know. No, he isn't. That was Cuomo's doing, right? You know, so it, it's getting crazy. It's just getting crazy. And um, uh, I just wish we had a president who knew how to take the blame for something. And say, yeah, it was my fault, but now let's do what we can do to fix it. And he's doing a couple of good things. You know, I think the bailout, the way the way they're bailing it out and trying to get businesses to keep people hired is a pretty good plan. I don't think it's a bad one. Um, I like the, the one fact I heard from my accountant today was uh, I just put in for it, and you and Marjorie are getting $2,400. Yeah. So, you know, we'll get that check. That'll be nice. And then that goes right back to my accountant to pay him for working for me th for this year. <laughs> but uh, the point is that, that um, uh, you know, they did a, they, 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 the thing about small businesses, if they keep their people on, uh, they can take out a small business loan, which will not need to be repaid. The government will back it, you know, things like that, which I think is Pretty good. They're handling the economic part of it. But the fact that we have to do the economic part is because we never took care of the rest of it. Yes, Bree? Uh, yeah, I would like for everybody to report when and if you do get your uh, stimulus checks, because I'm going to you know, be watching and waiting for mine. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much I'm getting. There, there, there's been some uh, different reports, but they claim that if you filed last year and you give them your bank account number for direct deposit, mm -hmm. that they're just going to use that. Yeah, and you'll so get twelve hundred dollars. You'll, you'll get twelve hundred dollars. Is your mm -hmm. wife? Amer your wife is an American, right? She's not. She. That's what's interesting. She was a permanent resident and has a social security number. And I do file jointly our taxes. Oh, okay. You're so probably... I don't know. And, and we have a daughter, so it could be as much as two thousand nine hundred. Yeah. What were you saying, Jeff? I think he's going to get it because of that. Yeah. For his wife. Yeah. 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 But, you know, we definitely I'm, need it. And I'm suggesting that everybody, if they if they uh, if they get their twelve hundred dollar yeah. check uh, and you don't need it, send it to the Biden campaign. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't I, heard from him at all. Is he still running? Uh, uh, who? <laughs> There's Biden. Biden is still running or something. I have. Yeah, he's still he's anymore? still he's in, he, he's in the lead, but you know. Uh, yeah. it, 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 the only thing it, I saw was Tucker Carlson on a podcast said, absolutely, it will not be Biden 100 percent. He said that he has uh, sources claiming that Biden won't make it to the convention. Yeah. Like he's <laughs> mentally unfit or something. Uh, you know, I, I have a, the, a Fox News is playing games again, I guess, because I have a friend yeah, tonight yeah. who said to me he's se he's senile. Who? Biden is senile. Oh. Any more than Trump is senile? That's what yeah, I said Trump to my friend. Oh, Trump! Senile. Trump lately can't Trump get out a whole can't get out a whole sentence. 
even if yeah. he's reading it. And Alex, he repeats the thing like he was today. The bands, the bands, they got nice bands. He, I don't think he's intelligent, really. Well, That's what he does not. is he has a written script, and then it says something like the bands. And then he looks out and wants to look like he's not reading it, so he goes, yes, the bands. Definitely the bands. And then he goes back to the script. Yes, Phil? Uh, yeah, I uh, did all the paperwork today. I have to uh, uh, send it in after midnight, but I did all the pay paperwork for the payroll. Uh, they call it the PPP or payroll something. It, it's the PP. It's the PP. Yeah, PP. <laughs> so, uh, I qualify for fifty-two thousand dollars. Okay, uh, for uh, payroll assistance, mm -hmm. you know, be, uh, so it'll pay uh, the rent. Uh, it's based on two and a half months of your average payroll for two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my payroll's somewhere in the twenty-something thousand a month mm -hmm. mark. Yeah. So, uh, uh, or my W two payroll. And uh, now don't you wish you weren't that cheap? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> After midnight, I'm able to get on a link and and put that application in. But I today I spent time getting uh, <clears throat> a, a pay, a, a, all the payroll quarters, the payroll taxes, and the and the uh, returns and the and the uh, corporate return and stuff like that. And I went to the bank. I gave them all the hard copy and. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they, they, you know this will be good because I can uh, get reimbursed for the money that I pay the employees. Yeah. To keep I'm going. Yeah, well, that's I, I was saying that you know, I mean, this, they're doing something right, but they're doing something they have to do because they didn't do their homework earlier. You know, to keep it going is I can spend 25 percent of the money on uh, up to 25 percent of the money on non payroll like rent, and then the rest of it has to go to payroll. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, any that I don't do to that, I. I don't get the grant. I don't get it uh, forgiven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ray, had your hand up? Just before this, I was in the middle of filing for unemployment and disability. And <laughs> the, the site goes down from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. every night. Really? <laughs> for maintenance, yeah. That's why you have to wait till after midnight. Hey, Ray, you got yeah. a future in floor covering sales. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> oh, He'll man. pay you right now. He's getting money to do that. He's got free money. If I don't spend it, Thanks I don't. It. It. I, I have a sli I have a slight <laughs> breathing problem, but it's uh, my allergies. Uh, because I don't have I I don't have a temperature. I I've been taking it all day, and it's like yeah, sure. I I think maybe I'm dead. It's like <laughs> it's uh, ninety seven point five yeah, all day today. I'll be right huh? back. Charlene. Wants to oh yes, Charlene. Uh, no, no audio, Charlene. No audio, Charlene. You're on secret. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's elbow. She's giving you the elbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not nah, no audio. Charlene, are you? Are you gonna, there, may not. there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now, you're off. Yeah, now what were we gonna say, Charlene? She forgot. Oh, what happened to her? She's got no audio. Well, she had it there for a second. For yeah, a second. I, I think that there's a bad plug on that uh, thing. I think you're right about that last night. You said that uh, it's either not plugged in or I think she's got just a uh, you know, bad plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you. Yeah, you no, to, I got good you, plug. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that's left is the plugs. <laughs> Apparently, you even lose plugs, don't you? No, actually, you know, they didn't. They only put in 3,500 of them. I couldn't give up that much. And uh, so, you know, uh, mm. it's, it's They there. get them from your ass? Huh? They get them from your ass? Uh, back and ahead. Oh, I thought they'd take <laughs> now, now there's a way to get the plugs without having to cut a hunk of your skin mm. out across oh. between both ears. You really must have not wanted to be bald to go through that pain. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, at the time. At the time. He <laughs> thought it would get him laid, but he was sadly mistaken. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I got to find my... Where's my... How long did it last? Uh, disappeared. Uh, uh, I, oh. I had it done I in got, 2000. I'm feeling wheezy right now. Um, every, every time I have a little trouble breathing or have a little, you know, from the... Uh, because everything is in bloom out there. I, I found that out for the first time the other day. And uh, uh, there we go. Is that what you tell people when you sneeze in the elevator? 
<laughs> what? No, uh, no. But I, 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 I there. You know, I have bad. Uh, al- I've always had allergies. Always had like asthma from, you know, pollen and so on. And so I, I, you know, I did this, and uh, I, I take this stuff every now and then. It kind of helps. But I've been using it so long, it doesn't work anymore. Can you talk now, Charlene? Or have you fixed it yet? No. No. Still signing. No. Well, you, we had you there for a second. You clicked on something. Do you have a switch on there? Do you have a switch on that headphone? Oh, no. There you go. We just go heard ahead. you. Just we, worked. we just heard you. And now we didn't hear her again. I got some uh, professional grade microphones here I've been thinking of using, but uh, everybody tells me they can hear me pretty well anyway. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, you know, I wish there were other things to talk about, but there really is nothing to talk about. Um, I mean, this is the big story. Um, I kept thinking today as I was watching like MSNBC and can't MSNBC. talk about huh? What what'd you say, Charlie? Charlie, did you just say something? Well, he's having problems. I said we can't talk about sports. There's no sports to talk about. No, and I you know, every night they still go to the sports guy on channel four. And I can't yeah. figure out why. <laughs> I can't it just chops up. Hey, there was some guy, a 19-year-old kid in Texas, went to a Sam's Club and knifed an Asian family. Uh, uh, there. Yeah, it's a hate crime. I, you know, I'm wondering if we're going to see more. Well, like what I'm waiting for, what I'm waiting for is, look, there's only so much people can take being indoors. In a crack. Before they start cracking, you know. Oh uh, uh, yeah, last night people were cracking around here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, yeah. One of one of my neighbors had a had a blowout party. Mm-hmm. Really? They were drinking and laughing and oh boy. And it's absolutely you can't do it. It's not allowed. Not supposed, but they did it because people are going to go crazy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did you see in Turkmenistan the the ruler has outlawed the use of the term coronavirus or COVID-19? Why? You China. cannot use it. It's, they took it out of all the hospitals, all the pamphlets. Uh, well, what do you call it? The, the, Legislate it and it'll go away. Can't use it. Look it up. Turkmenistan, mm-hmm. use of the term coronavirus. Well, yeah, they call it the China virus there. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, let me, let me. I didn't even know there was a country named Turkmenistan or whatever. Country? Well, Turkmenistan, yeah. where is, let me see. Is it, it on here It's a funny all? country. They, they. Uh, I think looking. they've had two leaders in like in the past, you know, 20 years or whatever since they broke off from the Soviet Union. And the previous guy was very funny. Like he, they had an ice hotel and uh, yeah, there, there were a lot of stories. If you just look back historically, you could always get a kick out of the news from Turkmenistan. <clears throat> Trying to see if Turkmenistan is even on here. We also had here, I don't know if you heard, the big news from Malaysia was that there was a division in the Malaysian government that put out a uh, uh, flyers and pamphlets that told wives wear makeup during the lockdown and don't nag your husbands. Yeah, really? That's a good. It's good. It's, it's good advice. What is all this noise that we're hearing now? It's oh, me. it was me. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're working now. Is it? Yes. Oh well, whatever. Thank God. <laughs> Oh. Uh, anyway, I can't find uh, I can't find uh, the country you were talking about here. Oh wait, wait, wait no, there's Tunisia, Andorra, Kazakhstan, Bosnia, Herzegovina. Uh, I wish they'd pick one name or the other. You know. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Croatia. Uh, no, I don't see it anywhere here. Uh, the great place to be is uh, Iceland right now. Uh, has um, uh, let me see here. Has uh, excuse me. Total confirm. Hold on. There we go. Uh, One thousand three hundred nineteen, and they've only had four deaths. So that's uh, that's, that's a pretty good percentage. So that's one of the places to go. The best place on the Where? face of the earth, though, is I think Greenland. Uh, what about Antarctica? Antarctica. I, I, I went and looked at Antarctica. There is absolutely nothing in Antarctica. 
It's the one place on the face of the earth that does not have the coronavirus. Uh, and it doesn't have it. But, you know, I wonder what, which number of places are under lockdown and which are not. Like, for example, my friends in Singapore, mm. it's business as usual. They, I mean, they, they have uh, social distancing that they're practicing, mm -hmm. but they can still go out. They can go to a restaurant or go to a movie or go to a seminar, Yeah. Uh, go walk in the park, you know. Yeah. Um, we can't do that here. Well, you know, uh, it, it's just better. You know, I, what, I, what I was saying yesterday, and I'm going to say it again, I think that, you know, if you're a patriotic American, then the way to be absolutely patriotic is to uh, stay indoors. That's right. Do your pee bit to, to, to stem the virus. Uh, I, I, you know, I, mm. I went down to get that box, and I was scared, Right. I had the gloves on, you know, I didn't put a mask on because I figured, nah, I'm not going to bump into anybody. But then I, I was looking at it and thinking, well, I'm going up in the elevator. Suppose somebody wanted to down in the elevator. Suppose somebody wants to get in on the third floor. There is not six feet difference in that elevator. So how can I keep my distance from them? You know, in my elevator, uh, there was two people in it when I got home. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I said, I'll just wait for the next one. So uh, I forgot to press the call button, and I'm standing there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and finally realized, oh, I hit the lights down well, on Phil, it. Phil, when you get it, when you get a chance, give me a call. I'll tell you how to use elevators. <laughs> you know, it, it's not as difficult as it looks. Yeah, well, when you're daydreaming, it is. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, there was two people in there. My elevator's not that large, so I just let them go up, and I waited for the next one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I, I think it's only a matter of time before people start cracking, you know, going crazy. Did you see that uh, HBO is offering free streaming now? Really? Starting April 3rd? Really? Got to sign yeah. up, right? It's called, um, the hashtag is um, stay, at, is, uh, what is it here? It's uh, stay home box office. Stay home box office. Yeah, and the promotion kicks off April 3rd, and it's going to include, include free streaming for... You can catch up on all these oldies, but goodies, if you haven't seen them, The Sopranos, yeah. Why Veep, yeah. uh, movies like Pokemon Detective, Pikachu, Small, Small Foot, The Lego Movie, uh, Veep, True Blood, Six Feet Under, Ballers, Silicon Valley. It's all going to be available. It. Stay uh, home box for a office. limited time, starting on the third tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, starting tomorrow, Ballers, Barry, Silicon Valley, Six Feet Under the Sopranos, Succession, True Blood. I mean, that's a lot of viewing you can do. Seen Deep, most of Deep them. And The Wire. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, you know that, that that's oh, nice. That, good. That's good of them to do. It uh, is nice. Very nice. Uh, uh, curb your enthusiasms on HBO, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not listed here. No. Yeah. Uh, but it, I think you go. You you put HBO now on your on your TV set or whatever, and that's oh. how you get it. It says my bosses want me to tell you that these series will be available to stream on HBO now and HBO Go for free starting tomorrow. So mm -hmm. I imagine they found a way that that you can access those shows if you're <coughs> if you're not a subscriber. Maybe only those shows will show up. Well, okay. I think um, the the service actually has hasn't launched yet. This mm -hmm. is a brand new service that they're launching. It's mm -hmm. called HBO Max. Well, that, and that until yeah. they launch it, they're probably limiting what you can see. They it, that's probably you know how they you can't see the new stuff because they haven't put it there for you to see. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Hey, who sneezed? Somebody sneezed a couple mm -hmm. seconds ago. Oh, it was me. I coughed a little. Yeah, well, don't you cover your face when you sneeze? I did. I went like this. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. You're going to get a virtual uh, coronavirus. You know, there's a, there's a thing called box office television or something, Broadway television, where they have Broadway shows on this channel. And you can oh, get that a, would be nice. Well, you can get that free for a month if you have Roku. You can do it for a month and then, you know, cancel them. People are going crazy because really there's no sports to watch. There's mm -hmm. nothing. And now we're going into the, you know, the summer season where everything goes into reruns. Yeah. 
I got Fox News. I don't need that. Well, I, I, well, there are some funny things to watch. There's some good, very entertaining things, like what I call the Trump Comedy Hour, which is on every night at about 5 o'clock. And it goes on for about two hours. While and the theme of the like show, that, it's a really great format. The format of the show is an endless procession of people kissing Trump's ass. Yep. So it's really, yeah, and, they get, and you know something? The networks are so bored by it. These news networks are so bored by it. They say, we'll get back to it soon. But yeah. we have some other stuff to report. And they maybe talk about the... Um, and they go to a commercial. The ship, the ship, uh, <laughs> the uh, ship captain who just got relieved Fire. from Fire. his uh, job because he said, "Hey, I, we need some help here. These guys are getting coronavirus on the ship," and just, and yep. and he wasn't supposed to say that. It was an aircraft carrier. Well, <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a ship. It it's floats. Ship. Hey, yeah. do you see the similarities between the uh, Trump thing and Gabnet? It goes for two hours. <laughs> but it's in the guy's ass. Uh, doesn't that sound like cabinet? No, because I'm not two hours anymore. Well, that's like an hour. Yeah. Um, Alex? He, he yes, yes, thing. Charlene. Alex? Yes, Charlene. Whatever happened with uh, Harvey Weinstein? They never said whether he uh, you know, really had coronavirus or whatever, right? Mm, right. Well, nobody cares. Uh, so, you know. Right. Um, and not being out of Rikers, right? <clears throat> hmm? They're not letting him out of Rikers. I don't think he's in Rikers. You know, he's they're not. freeing murderers, but they're not going to let yeah. him. Yeah. Him. But he's not in Rikers, I don't think. No, they took him out. That's what they thought, that he just said it to get out of Rikers, right? No, he, he. I don't think he was in Rikers. I think if he was there, it was as a halfway point till they put him in whatever prison they're going to put him and in. And now it delayed his sentencing in California or something. Well, what they're right? thinking of doing here in New York is letting a lot of nonviolent offenders out of Rikers. Out of Rikers, Yeah. Yeah. I heard they were letting murderers and all sorts no, of other no, stuff. No, 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 no. If you if a violent crime, no. But mm -hmm. if you if you were nonviolent, uh, yes. That means the only people who would be left in prison are killers. That's Come right. On. That's right. Yeah. Let one out. Yeah. It's going to be a dangerous place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we had to know it was only a matter of time before some aircraft carrier. Got the coronavirus, and because like a passenger ship, you're, if you want to talk about population density, there's nothing worse than a ship or a train. And you were in the navy, you know, or an airplane. Right? So you know about that thing. You were on a ship, right, in the navy or something? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You're on top. You sleep on top of each other. You're yeah. in bunk beds. In the navy. Yeah. No. It, it's 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 it, it. You know. So, I mean, if, if anything was a Petri dish for this sort of thing, it's that, you know. And, and uh, uh, it's pretty, pretty sad, pretty sad. Um, but, I mean, I just, you know, I, I was just wondering what's happening with this person next door because, you know, we've been friends with them for a long time. And, you know, just the kind of, th there are three apartments on this floor. And so those three apartments, we just, you know, we talk to each other when we see each other in the hallway and ask how each other are and, like, you know, but uh, they kind of kept to themselves. He's um, works at Sloan Kettering, and she's been she she's been she had uh -huh. a leg problem or a hip problem, and then she had some asthma. And uh -huh. you know, she's um, um, you, you know they have a there's a guy the one of the oldest guys in Europe is over a hundred years old, uh, and he came down with the coronavirus and survived. Oh wow! It was a World War II. Yeah, the hundred and four year old. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I read that story. Wasn't there a World War II veteran that uh, got it and and survived, uh, and he just turned a hundred? Well, it could be. You know, I don't think. I had him on TV tonight. You know, I don't think the the way the the way in which uh, the you know why somebody is more susceptible than others is is because of certain conditions. Like they were saying that people who had who have diabetes. Are just there's a bullet aimed at their head that they they can this can kill them in a, in a heartbeat. Um, I don't have that much wrong with me, uh, and oddly enough, neither is Marjorie. She has a little light COPD, which I may have too. I think everybody probably gets it at some point as they age. Smoked, huh? Especially you smoked. I smoked, but I quit for almost forty years ago. Okay, so you know. Yeah. You know, you still smoke. Yeah, but I don't, you know. Years, you said. Huh? huh? We're, 
we're in the uh, throes of an international respiratory pandemic that people would still smoke <laughs> boggles my yeah. mind. Uh, Asian countries, they smoke like it's going out of style. They do. They love this. My neighbors, were, somebody was smoking the other day, and it was wafting through my you know windows. I had to close yeah. all of them. Yeah, yeah. some neighbors, uh, Bray. <laughs> Your neighbors, I know, are, my terrible. neighbors <laughs> are terrible. Uh, I got one that wants me to go back to America. Mm -hmm. I got, you know, another that's got, that's got seven cars that they leave idling out front. Mm -hmm. As all the workers come and wash in the car, dog barking, special needs kids screaming, mm -hmm. partiers over here partying all night. It's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> well, all no, I'm saying is, uh, what, fire. fire? What, what we have here in New York now huh? are the sirens. You know, they're the most prominent sound you yeah, hear. Yeah, we have sirens here too. You know. I imagine that's what it, it's like at the end of the world. Before everything fully collapses, you just hear sirens Bree? every now and again, and you hope that they stay away. Bree, do you have a frequency yeah. generator where you can uh, put out tones and stuff that'll drive them crazy? You, know, you just put some earplugs in and you, just... Yeah, I ha well, I, I bought the... Uh, I told you I bought the, the dog bark thing, but it's too small. It doesn't generate a loud enough sound to interrupt him. I think it's a good way of solving the problem with that dog. Buy a lion. <laughs> <laughs> or a tiger. We got tigers here. Oh, you got tigers? Okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but anyway, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I think that, that um, uh, it's, it's pathetic how little we were prepared for this. Um, yeah. how, how we just kept thinking, oh, well, yeah. And everybody, how many, how many times over the last couple of years have you seen a documentary on TV or a discussion about, uh, the eventual pandemic? You know, it was, we were always talking about the eventual pandemic. So wouldn't you think that if we did, if that were true, we would be doing something for the eventual pandemic? Well, we were oddly enough because... Well, that's exactly Stupid. that's wait a minute, that's what uh, what uh, our our um, uh, president Barack Obama put together was a pandemic task force, mm -hmm. and that's when he stupid. got into office, stupid mm -hmm. killed it. Right. You know. So there was Same somebody things. who saw the future. Yes, Rob. Same things coming with uh, with uh, you know the the climate change. We're we're going to hit the brick wall. The scientists tell us we're going to yep. get there. And everybody, mm -hmm. we're doing nothing about it. And then when we get there, yeah. we're going to overspend, try to fix, mm -hmm. and never be able to catch up. Right. Because yep. we got people who don't You're believe right. in it. Yep. Yep. Same thing. We're on our way. But, I mean, you know, we, we, saw, we saw it coming. We knew it was coming. Yeah. Everybody talked about it coming. I mean, I saw a speech that Bill Gates gave a couple of years ago. Yeah. A TED Talk about the, uh, a, a pandemic. Uh, and, you know, of course, he was looked at it, oh, that's Bill Gates uh, doing his good work. Good boy, Bill, you know. But he was trying to warn us, you know. And he's involved now in a lot of the right. data and statistics that we're hearing about. Mm -hmm. uh, his company is, is, is doing the data on this. Uh, why didn't we do anything? Why didn't we prepare for something like this? You know, we prepare for war. We have an arsenal well, of good. weapons, you know. We're good at that. We're, we're going to have more casualties with this, and probably potentially, maybe. I mean, how many people died in Vietnam? Do we? Uh, I, I, I yeah, that was for that. that was, uh, fifty or fifty-five. Uh, Cuomo said that nobody knew that this type of virus would hit us. He said nobody could be prepared for this kind of virus and this kind of thing. I don't He's, think that's exactly what he said because I've been yeah. listening to him every day. And, and he was saying that we could have done a lot more to prepare for this, yeah. you know. Yeah, you could if you're a mind reader. But, but nobody, you yeah. see, a mind reader. There's countless articles and oh, yeah. The science has been calling oh, for you this want, for you years. Want, you, it you, happened in 1918. You want the really, you want the really <laughs> sick thing here. Uh, you know the uh, the respirators. What do they call them? The uh, ventilators. The ventilators. Uh, that we had something, I don't know, like 20,000 of them or something, and they don't work. And no. You, they, and, and you know why they don't work? Batteries. You know what? No. You know what? No. Batteries. No. They, they, don't work, they don't work because you have to turn them on about twice a year in order to have them not stagnate. And we paid a company to do that, 
and we stop doing business with the company yeah. and just let them sit there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Budget cuts, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Another another missile. Pennywise and pound you know, foolish is the sound. A 32 year old woman diagnosed with coronavirus in LA dies next day. How many people here on the panel know that the coronavirus can be spread by asymptomatic people? Oh, yeah. Does everybody here know that? Everybody knows that. Yeah. Yes. How long have yes. we known that? Well, Carriers. Carriers. How, how long have we known that? Uh, it's pretty long much time. since uh, mid-March. Okay. So why did the governor of yeah, um, Georgia yeah. uh, tonight give that as his excuse? Mm -hmm. he, uh, they finally put out a, mm -hmm. a stay-at-home order. Right. And he said the reason, and this is exactly what he said today, yep. well, we just found out that it can be mm -hmm. passed by asymptomatic people. Uh, Charlie mm -hmm. Wallace had his hand up. Charlie, Stop. he was waving like crazy. Oh, no, I was just waving my hand, and he said how many people knew about it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. No. We've not talked about that. We've known about inept, that a long time. Inept yeah. people. Well, well, that's the reason why we it's have to be able to drugs. test that's people exactly right. to see if they have it, because if they're asymptomatic, then we know to keep them away from people, too. Yeah. You know, and that's good. You know, but we don't have enough tests. Oh, you well, know, Trump says, tests. you know, we've 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 done a, you know, we we've done we we're getting a hundred thousand tests out there, or two million tests, let's say. Well, the population of the United States is how many? You know, that's a spit in the ocean. You know, we everybody in America should be tested that's for this. Yeah, but, but I'm talking about just the guy in charge. The governor of the state didn't know this until today. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's true? Do you think you really didn't, or no, you just I said? said the yeah, he how said about, how, how about the yeah. how about the governor of Wisconsin who's going to let the primary go on? Well, uh, <laughs> they're going to delay the primary to August. Oh, did they uh, finally decide to do that? No, oh, that's the um, the convention. No, right? that's the convention. Oh, that's the convention. That's the, convention. the primary, the Wisconsin primary, is of next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Can you vote uh, remotely? Uh, I don't think they, they, they're trying to do that, but they may not be ready to be able to do that. I'll bet pressure has it that that will not happen. Uh, it, they should not, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, I think we should not hold any more primaries and let this whole thing be decided at the convention when it eventually happens in the year 2323. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Rob, the guy who was the, uh, governor of Georgia was the, uh, Attorney General of Georgia prior to winning uh, in 2018, I think, or 19. Uh, so, you know, he, he was there. He was involved in uh, yeah. in, uh, in the state uh, running the things at that time. He was actually well, running the election. In yeah. I mean, what's, it, what's his thought process there? If he, did, if, he, if he did know that it's asymptomatic, that you can pass the virus, how does he say that to the Don't press today? Well, we just learned that it's, you know, if you have an asymptomatic person, they can spread it. So we had to shut down the state. Finally, hey, well, uh, Rob, things happen later in Georgia. You don't, you don't, uh, they don't, they don't get it as fast down there. Yeah. They just heard the Civil War was over. Yeah, no, they, yeah. a lot of them still think it's going no, on. <laughs> I think Florida is the craziest one. Two guesses. The, that that governor should be should be right. shot, right? Yes. I yeah. mean, Alex, when he makes a statement like that, shouldn't he just step in and say, "All right, you're fired"? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No other yeah. questions. He's removed. Yeah. Common sense is devoid in our government. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that's that's the problem. Government. Because, Does anybody know what happened in Pennsylvania? Because they were a holdout too. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Every every state, there should be, the president should have put out an order and just said, I'm making yeah. it a national decree. Everybody yeah. stays indoors. He's okay. too much of a pussy to do that. Oh, you can't do that. Yes, you can do that. Yes, you can, you can that. declare you can declare martial law if it is in the best interest of the pop population, which this and, is. And, you know, some states don't have the problems. That Phil, states Phil, like. uh, you can do it, but they will if they don't put their people the indoors. Anyway, hey, listen, listen, we've run out of time here. We run everybody's going to move to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, everybody's moving to Georgia. Uh, thank you, Rob. Thank you, uh, um, uh, uh, Charlie. Uh, thank you to Jeff. Uh, I've been a little silent tonight, Jeff, but that's okay. You know, uh, um, Charlene, thank you for joining us. Bree, good hearing from you from Malaysia. 
You, we have to tell everybody you're in Malaysia because you look at the picture looks so good that you never think you were that far away. Tony, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Ray. And if all of you will give a big wave goodbye, I shall wave back at you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Okay, that's, uh, that's, our, um, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop will be assembling another one right now as soon as we're through here. And we will be through here in just a couple of moments. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Yeah, the last show of the week. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.